Mike and I are in the car right now. We're gonna take this check and we're gonna go pay off the house. Yep. Yay! <laughs> it's ours. Yep, done deal. I look angelic. It's ours. <laughs> yep. Yay! Pike's Peak looks amazing tonight. We did it guys. We paid off our place. This is amazing. However long it takes, now we just build. If you're new to this channel, click subscribe. We're just getting started. So Mike was on Facebook Marketplace and a woman was on there selling um, toolkits basically. And what it turned out to be was her father passed away and he had all these tools left behind and a lot of duplicates. And she wasn't sure what to do with it. So she started putting together these little tool bags. And they... There's a tool bag. I dig that concept. Instead of just throwing everything in a bucket and taking it to a flea market or some crap. And, oh, grab whatever you want. Five dollars. Yeah, these would probably be okay for wood, metal, plastic. Kind um, of a general use. Yeah, just all around. And the kind of gold colored stuff is most likely titanium nitride coating. It's just for uh, better wear resistance, um, corrosion resistance. It just kind of makes them easier to live with. You don't have to boil them down and all that. Okay. Those so, are... These are actually pretty decent. Are they locking vice grips? Yeah, locking pliers. Locking vice pliers. Vice grips is a trademark. Trademark. Okay. Uh, these are probably 15 bucks. I don't know. I'm not really up on uh, what that stuff's going for. Well, definitely got my earth. A regular hammer. A claw hammer. And is that one a ball peen hammer? Yes. What is a ball peen hammer for? Like a substance. Um, you can do some mild shaping of metal with the ball end. Okay. There's a custom touch. <gasps> That's somebody that got tired of the damn thing sliding around in their hand. That's exactly what that is. Yeah, they're cutters, nippers. Mm. Yeah, these have done some work. <laughs> There's a little bit of bobble in the pivot. Shears of some nature. Yeah, it used to have, oh wow. Wow. This one had a, a leather loop that you would swing up and around this to keep it kind of closed. Looks like it's been gone for maybe as long as I've been drawing That's breath. Right. Yeah, and these are just a angled, long needle nose pliers. Okay. Yeah, they're good for doing things that are in difficult to reach spots. Um, hmm. Apparently a craftsman guy through and through. There's <laughs> some diagonal cutters. Good for a whole bunch of things. Channel locks. Uh. Uh, what I paid for this bag of tools. Yeah. Well, let's look that up just for kicks. Yeah, twenty six to thirty four dollars, depending where you go. And that was pretty um, much the price of what you paid for the bag. And I'm deeply appreciative for uh, what's here. This is not insignificant. No. Oh, set of various screwdrivers. Huh. That's handy. And some more. Channel lock? Channel lock kind of things. What are channel locks? Um, oh, hell. They're really good for plumbing and stuff. Okay. You know, something you can carry one tool that you can adjust to various sizes for. There are different jaw contours. This has got a little bit of curve, so you can grab round stuff, pipes, that kind of junk. Okay. Register. Well, these are actually good slip joint pliers. These are much less likely to put blood blisters all over your stupid hand. <laughs> See, that's familiar. Fuller. Yep. I don't know if they still exist. And these are. Um, Not on Earth. Oh, there's a correct name for them. The jaws always stay parallel. Just from the geometry in this. Oh, mechanism. wow. That's neat. Yeah. This one has a cutter on the side. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Bernard's. Not 
familiar with that company. They're probably not around. Yeah, and I don't know if you've noticed, um, it's got this little hexagonal flats thing here. Is that so you can take like a wrench or something if yeah. you can't? So you can really bear down on it, shove it into the screw if you've got a really stubborn one, bust it loose with a wrench. Mm. Yeah, these are pretty fantastic. It takes a little bit of doing to set them up properly. Um, wire strippers. So you set for the gauge of the wire based on where the screw contacts that side. Hmm. So you just loosen the screw and move it up or down to where it needs to be. Nice. Adjustable metric, metric adjustable. A slightly larger one. And a slightly larger than that one. I busted one of these handles off a of Craftsman flat blades because I needed something to prime an oil pump and didn't have anything readily available. I thought, well, it's a Craftsman, so we'll just smash the handle off it and then when we're done doing what we're doing, hi, this broke. Cool, here's your new one. Um, I never got that far. I don't know if I ever got the handle fully busted off. I mean, we beat that thing viciously. We cut it with a hacksaw. We did all this horrible stuff to it. Just beat the hell out of it with, well, that ball-peen hammer that's out in Derpa. And yeah, <laughs> there's a reason they're guaranteed for life. Rather nice set of genuine vice grip adjustable pliers. Oh, there you go. And I've always kind of liked theirs because the release lever makes more sense. It's a push out where I think that craftsman set. So it has a pull. Pulls in. <clears throat> oh boy, these have been around. Oh, no kidding. These may be copper. Yeah, this is kind of a special item. Well, copper's friggin' expensive, but beyond that, for some job locations, you have to have tools that won't create sparks, oil platforms. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that kind of stuff. So you have copper channel locks. It's, you, know, you can beat this on steel or whatever all day long, and it's not gonna throw any sparks. Yeah, that's, that's something. Wow. This is a tack hammer. I wonder if this is one of the magnetic ones. What is a tack hammer for? Yep, still got its magnetism. Uh, so for doing upholstery and crap like that, mm -hmm. this is a horseshoe magnet effectively. So, I don't have a nail or anything, but you'd take your upholstery tack, stick it on that magnetic stuff, whack it into place, and spin this around and drive it in. Huh. Can you extend your handle? Greater leverage, in case that friggin' guy's finger just doesn't want to come off. Uh, the, the, a lot of the hatred around slip joint pliers is after they get some wear and tear, the joint will just collapse and, you know, at the worst possible moment and you get blood blisters and mangle fasteners. And I like scrappy things. Okay. Huh. Um, yeah. Kind of looks like a Phillips, but not. This is unusual. Just the tip. And only for a minute. And it looks like this stuff was used in um, aircrafts, electronics, and automotive. Yep. There's the that thing. Yeah, there's some good stuff there. It's kind of hard to go wrong with tools. It's a hundred dollars cheaper. I like it. We're gonna have a table saw. I'm gonna do some projects. Hey, well, there's not a bunch of screwed around involved. In Taking out the, I forget the name for this piece. It comes with a handy push stick. Ooh, so push stick. Mike has set up the table saw in the living room. <laughs> Mike is such a dude. So let me ask nice you. Dude stuff. Uh, Two point is on here. Twenty-four. Get yeah, zoops. And so I've got a thirty-six. Is that, is that kind of like um like grits on sandpaper? Like a lower number is a really rough grit. Is that the same thing with the teeth? Yes, the okay. lower tooth count is for ripping. Ripping? Cut with the grain. Okay. 
And then cross cut is across the grain. Chips that come off are longer, so you need the wider area between the teeth for chip clearance. Okay. But yeah, I would use that for ripping and this for cross cut. Okay, I see. It's like tread on a tire. You got to clear out the yeah, out the muck. Because it won't cut with a crap if it's on the wrong way. Yeah, that is correct. So it rotates towards you. Yeah. Okay. So you always have to be careful on the end closest to you of things getting caught and pulled down. Okay. Yeah, loose sleeves, loose hair, baggy shirts this is for the super safety. Thing that's covered in styrofoam. What we call it, be lefty. Wow. Does collection on that. Okay. So. So is that also? So that is collect dust collection, and that also is dust collection. Yeah, and this would be for finer stuff, I guess. Okay. And you just hook a hose up to it. Yeah, it's hook it up to a shop vac or just like puke off. So there's that stuff. Sweet. Sweet.